not suitable during the fasting month. Do you hear what I'm saying, Layla? <laughs> don't you understand? I don't have any energy to play. <laughs> this little girl becomes full of excuses when she wants to escape, and that's so shameful. Am I not right, Munir? Huh? <gasps> Actually, what Alia said is true. And so logical, because I am feeling thirsty, too. I'm feeling so tired, and I can't bear it. Uh, me, too. This is really tiring. Don't you feel the same, Majid? You all belong to the weak group. Only good at making up excuses, and that's so annoying. Majid! 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 Where are you going? Majid! There's no need to call him. He must be pretending to be deaf, which he's really good at. Mm-hmm. That's correct, Alia. That's Majid's natural habit. Yeah. So now... What do you think we should do? Uh... Oh, why don't we just play any other game that is suitable and won't make us feel tired? Sure! Let's go! Hurry Let's up! Go. <laughs> what is the time now, Mr. Tiger? It is 8 o'clock. What is the time now, Mr. Tiger? It is 9 o'clock. What is the time now, Mr. Tiger? It's 10 o'clock! <laughs> anymore it is tiring let's play another game and it is not suitable during the fasting month don't you understand my friends it is not suitable but i'm mr tiger oh my god i was thinking there are little kids playing in front of the house instead it's the two of you shame on you what this is certainly sad <laughs> Uh, you, Majid, yeah. you just keep on playing all the time. From the time you are back from school till night. Play, play and play. Tell me, aren't you fasting? Huh? Huh? Answer me. Answer me, Majid. Why aren't you answering me? Huh? He didn't even answer. Guess he's protesting. Don't pretend to be deaf, okay? Huh? He, he's run away. What should we do now? Haji, it looks as if Majid has started his old misbehavior. You just called him, and he's pretending that he's deaf. He didn't even look. This is unacceptable. Majid, oh Majid. I have no grudges, but I am worried if he has really turned deaf. It would be difficult on us. This kid is always up to something these days. He is always getting into trouble. I can't even play for a while. There's always some problem. Grandpa and Grandma nag all the time. It's all because I'm a small boy. And Mom and Dad, once they're back home, will give me tons of work. It's best if I pretend I'm deaf. <laughs> Don't you have some discipline? <coughs> are you okay, Majid? Are you sick? If you are sick, why are you loafing around? Can't you just stay at home? Huh? What's wrong? Why is Hajimusa talking without making any sound? Hajimusa! Hajimusa! Can you please speak louder? I can't hear you. Huh? What? Can't you hear me? Are your ears blocked, Majid? Mm -mm. Hey! Can you hear me? Majid! Can you hear me? Hey, Majid! <laughs> can't you hear? Huh? 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 Who's shouting?
shouting? Who's shouting? Is there a fire? Help! Help! Fire! Fire! Help! Fire! Help! Help! Hey, help. come on, Jabber! Uh, Whose uh, house is uh, on fire? Uh, help! Please don't make silly jokes. Uh, there's a fire. Come uh, here, my dear help, friend. Help. Uh, 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 isn't there a fire? Uh, I thought there was a fire. Uh, I heard people shouting, and it worried me. I thought there was a fire. Uh, yeah, I thought there was a fire, and I thought it was going to die. It's nothing, Jabber. Ha! Huh, it is this boy, my friend. He has become deaf. He can't hear, although I raised my voice a lot. Oh, dear God, so it's like that. This is what Haji Mahmoud always tells, that Majid pretends to be deaf most of the time. He purposely doesn't want to listen to anyone anymore. Why are you always like this, Majid? You really have to stop acting and pretending that. But it is true this time, my friend, believe me. Listen, Hajjaber, I know how to tell the difference. You must trust me. As the village's future representatives, we need to help this boy by any means that we have. It is a good deed, and a good deed is never wasted. <laughs> this is what I like most about Haji Musa. He's always inspired to help others in their time of need. So now, tell me, <laughs> what exactly can we do to help this boy in his need? Uh-huh, that's the way, my friend. Please send him to the nearest hospital, and I shall inform his parents about what happened. I really pity him. He is turning deaf at a very young age. Oh dear, I'm so worried. Let's go to the hospital and check up on Majid. There's no need for that, Mom. It won't take too long. If the hospital's not crowded, that is. Oh, don't worry. Otherwise, you will find yourself in a hospital bed instead, my dear. Majid has only gone for a hearing test. He wasn't born deaf, my dear Adnan, and neither does he need to undergo an operation. Yay! Yay! Majid's here! Majid's here! Adnan, didn't you study medicine before? What is happening to Majid? I'm not deaf anymore! I can hear you now! <laughs> the doctor said that Majid lost his hearing temporarily due to his bad cough. That's normal after all. <laughs> Children's ears are sensitive. Since, as we know, they cannot tolerate high-pitched sounds and noises, unlike us adults. <laughs> oh, my dear Majid, I'm worried. Let me take you to the hospital. I'm sorry, Grandma. Since he was playing deaf, God has given him a second chance this time. Let us all learn a lesson from what happened. <laughs> this may be a blessing in disguise, my friends. I promise you all not to pretend being deaf ever again. I have repented. Mm, all right. Thanks to you, Jalba and Musa. Thank you very much. You sacrificed your precious time in order to help us. God bless you all. <laughs> it's okay. No need to thank us, Haji Mahmoud. I'm helping you today, that's true. But who knows, someday I may ask you for help in return. And of course, you will be helping me back. <laughs> yes, of course, sure. <laughs> you are right indeed. Listen up. I feel like this is the time for Grandpa to tell us a beautiful story. Is there anybody who agrees with me? Yes or no? Yes, I agree with you, Munir. Come on, Grandpa, please, please? Oops, is this the right time? I normally tell the children stories, but, but now to a group of people? This is, I suppose, really embarrassing for me to do it now. <laughs> Eh? There's nothing wrong with that, Haji Mahmoud. We too would love to hear the stories you tell. It's only our age that makes us old, but we still carry our childishness inside our hearts. <laughs> I love listening to stories. All right, there's a story about deafness. Not real deafness, but a pretend deafness. This is about a Sufi named Hatem al-Sham. 
<laughs> For your information, Al Asham means death. He is well known by everyone in his area because of his knowledge in religion and hearing problems. And he was a good listener in spite of his deafness. And he would always listen to the people's problems and then help them to find answers to the problems. <laughs> Oh, Sheikh, <laughs> didn't you hear me calling you? <laughs> Ma, my throat is hurting me now. <laughs> uh, what was wrong with you? Were you chased by a robber? Or I forgot to pay you for this small bag of flour. That is not the reason, Sheikh. Just now, you overpaid, and now I am returning your excess money, my Sheikh. <laughs> Take your money, Sheikh. What? Return the flour? Why would you want the bag of flour back? Didn't you sell it to me in the first place? How would I be able to bake bread if I didn't have any? No, I don't want the flour back, Sheikh. Ah, I just want to return your money that you had overpaid. Oh, my glorious God. It seems the Sheikh didn't hear what I told him. Uh, <laughs> extra money? You have raised the price within a minute? Uh, one moment. Let me look for my money. How much do I need to pay you? Oh, oh my God! He's not getting it! Uh, he's not getting my point! Oh, oh, I... Patience comes from faith. My friend, my huh? dear friend, he has a big hearing problem. He's almost deaf. So come on, give him the money. Hey, mister, this is your money. You can go back now. Come on, go back home. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you a lot. Thank you for explaining to him. <laughs> <laughs> you must be new to the area for sure. You probably don't know Hatim al Assam very well. He's deaf and he can't hear very well. <laughs> oh, what a pity. I'm sure his life is so difficult. <sighs> is he deaf since birth? I mean, was he born deaf? No, no, he wasn't born that way. He could hear well before. About uh, 15 years ago. It all started some time back. As a religious man, Hatam received many people who faced difficulties in religion. One day, a lady visited him. Peace be upon you, Sheikh. And peace be upon you. I hope you are doing well. So, Siat, do you have any problem? I have some confusion. While I was performing my morning prayer, a strange thing happened to me. Huh? I didn't hear you. What did you say? Please raise your voice more. I can't hear you well at all. Don't whisper to me as I can't hear you. Hmm. Is it true he didn't hear me? Alhamdulillah. What a relief. I really can't hear you. Are you talking to yourself? Oh. This is worse. Are you ashamed to ask? Why don't you write your question down? Uh, all right. Let me write down my problem, and I will return to you this evening. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Ah, uh, I think I heard what you just said to me now. Now go back and write your problem down first. All right, all right, go. Don't worry, Sheikh. Since that incident that day, Hatem al-Hasham decided to pretend to be deaf. 
So he started his life as a deaf Sufi. Sir! Mr. Hatim, sir! Wait! Hey! Wait a minute! I said wait a minute! Huh? Isn't he deaf? What's wrong with me? Uh, uh, uh? This boy? What's the matter? Do you have a problem you want to ask me? I have some important news for you, sir. The latest, most urgent news. Can you hear me? The most important news. What? You want to get married? Hmm. Don't you have two wives already? Isn't that enough? Masha Allah! It's challenging to talk to this old man. It's like this, sir. This is Siti's matter. She just passed away. Siti has passed away, sir. Can you hear me? Siti passed away. What? Siti? The woman who always comes to see me? That's correct. That's correct, sir. Siti was always looking out and taking good care of you. Everywhere she went, that's her. My dear, this is the way of life. Nobody really knows when they are going to go. <laughs> it's Allah's business, Allah's business. No one knows when their time has come. Hope her soul is blessed. Have mercy on her. <laughs> have mercy on her, Allah. Have mercy on her soul. <laughs> Inshallah. May all God's deeds and devotion to God while on earth be accepted by Allah. T uh, tell me one thing, sir. Did you just hear what I said now? Aren't you supposed to be deaf, sir? What? What happened to you? You simply say that I am deaf? Since when am I deaf? That's enough. Let's go to the departed's house now. What? You can hear me now? Isn't that very strange? What's happening to you? <laughs> That's Hatem Alasham's story. He'd rather pretend to be deaf than embarrassing the woman. His sacrifice and sincerity was made known by everyone there. They looked highly upon him and are proud of him. They all consider him an idol of sacrifice and good manners. Wow, I bet he was a good person. He pretended to be deaf for a long time. Yuck! Just to cover up a woman's embarrassment. Imagine that deed. That's really good. Actually, there are many types of human beings. There are some who pretend for the sake of others, while there are some who pretend for their own sake. Just like the boy we saw today. <laughs> okay then, I hereby promise that I will never pretend to be deaf ever again. I will listen to my elders, their advice and instructions. Of course, except if they were dull instructions. <laughs> but in case you hear something that no one knows about. <laughs> I mean a secret. What would you do in that case, eh? <laughs> uh, if that's the case, I have to pretend that I'm deaf, just like the story that you just told us. Eh, I don't believe that at all. Since it's you who's always the first person to leak information to the entire village. <laughs> Hey, what do you mean? I am a good boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>